So as I was telling you, Kusala Ben Carter Sindhu tops the group. Akane Yamaguchi is second. So they both go through to the semi-final stage. We know from the other group as well that it's Arachuna Kintanon, top of Group B, and Shen Fei is the other semi-finalist. So just one more match to come this afternoon on the last of the group round robin matches. And it's Ben Singles, and it is the number one seed, Song Wan Ho of Korea, up against Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, the four-time former champion, the Malaysian. And by virtue of the fact that he has already won his only other match in the group in two straight games, we know he's qualified. So the men's singles nearest to us is the former world number one, Song Wan Ho, but number one seed here. And another former world number one, Lee Chong Wei. And as far as this Group A is concerned, well, we lost the Olympic champion and uh, former winner of this event, the two-time former winner of this event, Chen Long before play got underway, which was an awful shame because this looked a very interesting group indeed. But Lee Chong Wei, as I say, won his first match by two games to love. So we know that whatever happens in this match, he will qualify. This is the Dubai World Super Series Finals, men's singles group A. Time to welcome the players. First up, from Korea, the bronze medalist at the 2017 World Championships, the number one seed, Son Won Ho! Former world number one, Son Won Ho of Korea. Bronze medalist at the World Championships in Glasgow earlier this year. opponent, the three-time Olympic silver medalist, number 14, from Malaysia, Lee Chong Wei. Lee Chong Wei, four-time former champion at the Super Series Finals. Three-time Olympic silver medalist. He's contested four World Championship Finals. He's won four All England titles. And he's the number four seed here this year at the Super Series Finals. Four okay. Super so Series Finals, like finals, red finals or black? this year. Red? He just red? Two of them. The first. Black. And the last, the All England Championships in Birmingham, the first of the 12 Super Series events, and then the 12th last month, the Hong Kong Open, winning his fifth Hong Kong Open in his eighth final at that event. Also reached the final of his home events, the Malaysian Open. That was his 13th Malaysian Open final. He's 34, 35 years of age now, and he's the oldest player in the men's singles discipline here. Born in uh, Georgetown, Penang, in Malaysia. He is the former world number one. And he's making his eighth appearance here at the Super Series Finals. Never lost a final at the Super Series Finals. Every time that he's reached the final, he's won the event. Well, on Wednesday, he played against Ung Kar Long of Hong Kong, and he won in two straight games. And then, of course, with Chen Long's withdrawal from the competition, a walkover. And so none of the matches with Chen Long because he was blue before the start of play. None of those accounted towards the calculations. So Man Ho, 29 years of age, spent a total of 17 weeks as world number one. 
currently number five in the world ranking. He was a semi-finalist here last year, lost out to Victor Axelson, the eventual champion. And he's played Unkar Long as well. And he lost to the Hong Kong player in three games. My goodness, what a marathon match, an hour and 20 minutes. So this will be the 14th meeting between the two players play. of the previous 13. Lee Chong Wei has won 11 of them. Ready to play. Last time they met was in the quarterfinal of the Hong Kong Open, which, as I was telling you, Lee Chong Wei went on to win. So our umpire for this is Jitan Bat from Australia. Sethiawan Mahadu from Mauritius is the service judge. Well, I watched their match the last time these two players played against each other in the quarterfinal of Hong Kong. And Lee Chong Wei was 3 11 down in the second game and then promptly won 18 of the next 19 points to close it out. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia. And on my left, Son Wan Ho, Korea. Son Wan Ho to serve, love all. So, Song Wan Ho getting this group match underway. Now, in simplistic terms, Steen, obviously, if Li Chong Wei wins this, he's played two, one, two, and Song Wan Ho will have played two and lost two because he lost to Ung Ka Long. So, Ung Ka Long one would be the low. other qualifier. If this man is to qualify, what does he need to do? He needs to win. Any win? Any win will secure him a semi-final berth. If he wins in straight games, he wins the group. If he wins in three games, he will finish second and Chung Wei will still finish first. In other words, Chung Wei only needs one game to win the group and is so already qualified for semi-final. One all. Service over, 2-1. One. Well, one of the players in the men's singles who has not reached a Super Series tournament final this year, in the number one seed, Sun Man Ho, the other player, has not reached a final this year, was in the same group, Ang Ka Long. Service over. Su Bok Two, in the coaching four. chair for Lee Chong Wei because there was visa issues for Hendra Wan. The Malaysian coach couldn't actually get here, so this has been a, a quick substitution on the coaching bench. Yeah. Su Bok was actually on holiday when he was called in. Three, two. Now the head coach of the uh, Asian women's singles team, Teisho Bok, but has previously worked a lot with the men's singles, and especially um, Chung Wei. I think he's coached him in at least one of his World Championship finals. Service over. Three all. There's a spy player over. with him, Chung Wei. That's the young Four, three. Chung Wei Chum from Malaysia. And the other Malaysians qualified here is um, the mixed doubles. Of course, already eliminated from the tournament. Five, three.
Good defense. Yes, the only other Malaysians here, as you say, eliminated in the mixed doubles. And it's the mixed Six, doubles discipline. Three. It's the only discipline at the Super Series finals that Malaysian players haven't won the title. Because Lee Chong Wei's wife, now wife, Wong Wu Chu, won the women's singles, won the men's doubles, Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Bu Hyong. Women's doubles. Okay, thank you. Twice winners was Chin Yi Hui and Wang Pei Ti. Yeah, and, and um, Tan and Go. Six. Didn't they win three. last year? The men's doubles as well? And the men's doubles last year as yeah. well, yes, absolutely. In fact, they're the only defending champions that didn't make it to Dubai this year. Didn't qualify. No. It was obvious that the Tan Wei Kiong was injured um, Seven, in the beginning of the three. year. Hampered his movement, his um, knee injury. Most successful man in the history of the Super Series. Not only man, he's the most successful player. 46 Super Series titles, having contested 65 finals. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised he even got his racket to it, so I'd hope. Eight, three. <laughs> oh, that's the Malaysian fans. They're all more satisfied this year than last year, where he was knocked out in the group stage. Oh. Nine, of course, as we've three. discussed with Song Ji Hyun, uh, this is someone who is coming directly from the Korea Masters. Yes, where he didn't have the best of tournaments. He lost easily in the uh, third round. Straight points. Three all. To ten and three. Thank you. Cross court backhand three. net shot Interval. from Lee Chong Wei. Played to perfection. Eight straight points. And eight point advantage. Only seven minutes behind. Well, I was mentioning he didn't have the best of tournaments at his home Grand Prix gold event, so I hope he was the number one seed and the defending champion, and he lost in the round of 16. That always hurts a little bit when <laughs> losing to a compatriot. Yeah. I mean, if the Danes, if the Danes knew that they were going to lose at some stage in the tournament, and you could give them a choice between losing to an international player and losing to a Danish player, they would much rather lose to an international player. Don't want to lose to a teammate.
10 straight points now for Lee Chong Wei. Super Series finals titles. And there's one other player, Steen, who's won four titles here at the Super Series finals. Across all five disciplines, I'm talking. Do you know who that player is? Uh, Christina Pedersen. Yeah, absolutely. I gave it away across all five, all yeah. five disciplines, really, didn't so, I? So it's a test <laughs> if I listen in on what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Good smash, good placement, straight down the line. Power and placement. And again. Disappointed in performance so far of um, someone who would have expected a bit more urgency in this game. But on the other hand, Chong Wei has made it really difficult for him. But he's he's playing for his tournament life here. Mm. He's never really. An overtly expressive player, though, someone who is no, he? Not at all, not at all. Just concentrate on his business. Said in an interview uh, lately that uh, he felt that he enjoyed more success when he uh, skipped his uh, results goal and just focused on playing good badminton. Sounds like uh, an idea that others could take up as well. Yeah. Because if we take good badminton, results will follow. Someone who can hope that um, Chung Wei slows down a little bit after one game when he's made sure he's winning the group. Well, that's found the line. Oh, he's challenging. Lee Chung Wei is challenging. I'm surprised at that. I thought that yeah. landed in. Yeah. I think so too. Judge was right. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. What percentage remaining. of getting these calls right, Steve? Service You're be over. Up about 95 percent at the moment. 17. You've been very sharp on them. Yeah, it's not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and one tournament, I don't think I got one right the, the whole way through. Oh, this. I've been to the optician since then. Yeah, that's good, that's good. There's been some some challenges that are clearly emotional or to um, to get a break in the uh, flow of the game. There's been some women's singles matches where uh, there's been some pretty peculiar challenges. So quick on the follow-up. He's just cruising 19. this at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Of course, in my opinion, the two players that are progressing from this group, this small group without Chin Long, they physically they must um, be a little bit um, better off tomorrow if they draw a player from the other group. They can also draw each other again. Yeah. Um, how confident Lee Chong Wei is playing the backhand yeah. from the center of the court. Oh. Oh, it's just a delight to watch. Yeah. Nod of approval from Taser Bok as well. Host of game point opportunities. Billy Chong Wei, just look at this. Disguise. Tillman Ho is just left stranded. Yeah, I would suspect that this would be the side of the court where someone who actually could challenge Chong Wei because he can push his clears and his lifts, but. Um, Maybe uh, we'll see a more attacking style in the second game. Good shot. Yeah, it's nice. 10, 20. Missed. 12, 20. Oh, it's called in. looked as if he was off to the kit box to change ends. Yeah, he looked like that. I think it was correct call too. Yes, yeah. it was. No one's gone wide. 21-13, opening game. Best in favour of the four-time former champion, Yu Chong Wei. 18 minutes needed for the opening game.
coach, Kim Ji Hyun. I suspect that she's told him that he needs to up his pace, a little more urgency in his style of play. Mm, sticklers for neat and tidiness, these umpires. Yeah, they're, they're very alert to that. Second game, level play. Perfect forehand cross court net shot. Look at that. Oh, nice landed. Well in. Two love. I thought there was some kind of side drift down at Solon Hall. Well, he was listening to me earlier in the week because I was convinced there was some sideways drift, but I don't, haven't really seen it today. No. to climb from here. You know, we've only just begun this second game, but the whole way he's playing, his body language. Yeah, I'm thinking if he's fit or if he's in the middle of some very, very um, tough uh, training period. We know that the schedule in January is um, it's really tough. Asian Games coming up in 2018, and it might sound strange bringing that up now, but uh, Asian Games in late August, and, and it's really hard to find periods in the calendar where you can build up, because, I mean, these players, they, they use perhaps one, one and a half month to build up the form that they should sort of live on for maybe six, seven months. that are back home practicing they are doing a lot of uh, tough exercises at the moment so in preparation for 2018 One, defending Thomas Cup champion and another world championship in uh, Nanjing and targets for the Danes oh. That sharp. Good play from Lee Chong Wai.
Seven, one. Just reading everything in Chong Wei. Someone who are just totally unable to put the Malaysian under any sort of pressure at the moment. Shake of the head there from someone who tells the story. Mm -hmm. all, all players know they've got to be playing well to beat Li Chong Wei. Yeah. And if you're not playing well, well there's one player having a good ten, time. One. That's <laughs> Kalong. single final in Denmark Open where um, someone whose um, fellow countryman Lee Hunil who played a really really good tournament but also was made to work all the way to the final where he was up against a fantastic playing Trikan Kidambi and was absolutely without chance of winning the match. Yeah, he was out plus, Three, wasn't he? Ten. This is looking fairly similar to that scenario. So 11-3 the advantage for Li Chong Wei at the mid-game interval. Here in the second game, and we've already won the first. Eleven three play. So it was also eleven three in the opening game. And the second half of the first game was actually ten all, wasn't it? Landed on the line. Twelve three. Yeah, plum on the line.
full of confidence, Chung Wei, after winning that Hong Kong Open. Yeah. See that from Lee Chong Wei. Obviously, something three. they've been working on. There you go, boss. Yeah, it's a very, very efficient shot. Um, the smash after the opponent straight clear, but it's really, really hard to uh, be accurate. Sometimes get periods where you just. Um, Puts it slightly so wide, and it's so important to get 13. that shot calibrated because there's so many winners. It's a difficult footwork for the opponent to cover that one. in his whole demeanor in that rally, Sun Man Ho. To see him tomorrow in the semi-final because mm. this is um, this is not the level we expect him to uh, to play. But there were signs of it after losing that uh, match to his uh, fellow countrymen in, in Korea Masters. It was a remarkably big loss. Yeah, lost to Kim Ming Ki. Service over. To reach the final. Reach the Six, final. Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen. So I was a bit interested in, in um, seeing him when he comes out on the tour. Kim Min Ki, uh, if it was an up and coming player, and it, it might still be, but um, I think the explanation lies more with uh, someone here. Yeah. I think we have to say that Fifteen Min Chong Wei is giving a master class at the moment. Yeah. He's finding the lines. It's very sharp, he's very quick. And was it last year or what? No, it was 2015, right, where he beat Chen Long um, in Hong Kong Open and uh, also in China, where he won the China Open? Yes, it was 2015. And a really good finish um, to that year. That's it. Oh, challenge, yeah. Need to challenge challenges, challenges called in. Got it correct. It was wide. So that's a great challenge yeah. there. Correction out. Sixteen. Ever since I think you were at ninety-five percent, you've been slipping stain on your Play. predictions there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simply became too confident. <laughs> Service over. 
Seven sixteen. players sitting here to the right of us uh, following the match. 8-16. Next doubles players and coach Chin Hui and sparring player Jun Wei Champ. Oh, Nine, I think he's right. oh, my heart missed a beat there. Hate to see any athlete go down. And that was a nasty slip. Mm, so forward there. Yeah, it, his ankle didn't twist. I thought initially he may have twisted his ankle, but I think you're right, Steen. I think it's just slipped forward. Very, very slight twist, like maybe. Mm, oh, I didn't like that at all. 16 agility to sort of fall backwards and I think that helped him yeah There's some consolation points in it for uh, Song Wen Ho. It was in the first game as well. Uh, Li Chong Wei tries out things. Never know. Eleven sixteen. Because I think that Yi Chong Wei is a little hesitant with his movement since yeah. that slip. Oh, there's only five points in it. Missed him. Now, the, earlier in the match, he would have been fully committed coming yeah. forward there to make the kill. And there's a clear well, example to 16. me of the hesitation since that slip that he's not prepared to. He doesn't come forward with the same acceleration. No. Longest run here of this second game so far. Away, then someone who can, can play with him. Oh, it's now seven straight points. But the run comes to an end. And for Malaysian fans, not a moment too soon. 
service over. 17, 13. Fifteen, eighteen. He's leading twelve seven since the interval. Someone hope. There was the acceleration. Oh, my goodness. He's looking a little bit anxious to me. And, and 16, it just shows 18. that you can't afford to lose focus. We saw it with first Cho in the first game against Axis and then Axis in the second game. You simply got to stay focused throughout a match because otherwise it can be really costly. One point in it. This is extraordinary. Right, Long. 17, 18. He's probably gotten a little nervous back home at the hotel room watching this match. Yes, it's just to reiterate if someone who wins this, he qualifies. Very good defense and he's and back he's not level. Going for it. He wasn't yeah. going all out there to away. No. That was the corner where he slipped. Yep. 18 all. of the last 18 points. Service over. All oh, that effort to get back to level. 19, 18. And then your opponent hits an net court. The lunge forward there. He looked very awkward, and I suspect he may have twinged his hamstring with that slip earlier on in the match. Look at the way he lunges forward here. That's very, very unlike Lee Chong Wei's movement. Yeah, 
Okay, thank you. Jeremy Silva. That's a lifeline to someone. 19 all. He's Sweet. reached. He's reached out for it. Yeah. Swing so team there. There's plenty of Malaysian fans in there chanting his name. 19 all. From Son Wan Ho means that Li Chong Wei now has a 19. match point opportunity. That's a good clear. Definitely concerned lunging Seven forward on that forehand side. So 20 all 20 extra points required all. until there's a clear two point winning margin. A challenge from someone who challenges called the out. line judge first of all looked as if he was indicating in changed his mind to indicate out because Lee Chong Wei immediately raised his arm to challenge and then when the call was changed it's someone Ho who's challenged it caught the line what a great challenge so having saved a match point, in. now someone who has a game point opportunity. And the opportunity to send this the full distance and keep his hopes alive of qualifying for the semi-final. 21-20. Yeah, and I think that if he wins this game, I think he's going to take the match as well. Yeah. Play. Twenty two twenty game one by having Sun, been one three thirteen down. down one game ball. Forty nine minutes into the match, and it's one game all. Okay. 
What drama here in Dubai. Final game, level play. Well, I never thought for one moment when Li Chong Wei was 13 3 up in the second, having already won the first. And 16-6. And 16-6. Never thought I'd be saying final game. And that's why we love sport. You just never know, do you? No. Never know. But um, it was due to unfortunate circumstances, I think, that um, someone who was able to make that comeback. Yeah. Missed it. One low. From Lee Chong Wei's perspective, of course, he knows he's qualified for the exactly. semi-finals. And, and I think most of all, he would like to retire and, and get some ice on his uh, Achilles and, and prepare for tomorrow. But he's not allowed to because if he retires, he will be withdrawn from the tournament. From the entire tournament, yes. Um, on the One other hand, low. that speed that he played with in the first game, I don't think he's comfortable sort of trying to play with that speed no. in the third game, which to him means nothing because he uh, is afraid of his foot. Mm. Two and that speed low. was what sort of made him the dominant player in the match. So since that went away after the, um, uh, the slip, He's not been dominant. No. In. Three love. Service over. One, four. Thank you. Yeah, even that defensive shot, the sort of dive rather than move the feet, is another indication to me. I know he likes to dive from around the court in yeah. an effort to retrieve the shot. But it's another indication to me that physically there is a bit of an issue. Yeah. Bolts. 
service over. Two, five. Service over. Six, two. Totally agree with you, Steen, about this lack of confidence. When he, he lacks the confidence in his movement, then the rest of his game falls to pieces. It totally disintegrates. Yeah. And, and when he plays at this speed, there's so many players that can challenge him. Yeah. And he's a little bit faster, like we saw in the first game, and big parts of second game then it's really really dangerous still reaching away service over three six I also think that Chung Wei underestimated someone who a little bit leading 16 6 because there were a lot of Four, early six. points on the uh, on the comeback uh, trail that were too easy. Where I think um, Chung Wei was um, yeah, taking a little bit uh, nonchalant. Yeah. It just emphasizes over and over again. Over. Focus, Seven, focus, four. and focus, because you never know what might happen. What if the injury had been even more serious? He could perhaps have been off court. Yeah. Instead of uh, risking himself getting more injured. Service over. Five. Seven. Play. Service over. Eight, five. Nine, five. Well, it's a bit of a concern, actually, in my mind, Steen, about both of these players mm -hmm. for tomorrow because Lee Chong Wei is clear he did pick up some sort of injury yeah. with that slip. And as far as Sun Man Ho is concerned, if he comes through this match and wins it, then he qualifies for the semi-finals where he played an hour and 20 minutes yesterday in beating Yung Kar Long. He's already 58 six, minutes into the match nine. here now. And, and, and he, I mean, he was defenceless when Lee Chung Wei was at full speed. Yeah. So I think if it ends up that these two players are qualifying, they might hope to, to draw each other again tomorrow. Yeah. That would be the best draw for them. But it's um, service over. Ten. It's six. a lesson and a masterclass in terms of how much pace and acceleration means in badminton. Yeah. When you have it and when you don't. Great point. We've um, we've discussed it with uh, 
um, the way Tai Su Ying um, transformed herself from one of the good players to a um, um, six-time champion, six consecutive uh, tournament champion by being able to um, raise her fitness level and thus her acceleration and her speed. Seven, ten. And what it means is um, just in front of us to follow. Next shot yeah. from someone hope Seven. and he Solo. has the advantage 11, at the change of ends. Change ends. Four points advantage against the number four seed and four time former champion, Lee Chong Wei. He will have Dr. Officio to look at his uh, leg tonight and hopefully they will see that it's just a push and serious and yeah. get a look taping on tomorrow and then he's as good as new. Yeah, we do hope so. Semi over, eight, eleven. Was sort of a half smash, wasn't it? No yeah. power to feed yeah. off. So it's a shot. 12 9. So, a point from earlier placement over power. And the fact that this third game here, it means nothing for Chung Wei. Mm. If he loses, he wins the group. If he wins, he wins the group. It only matters something in terms of who he can draw tomorrow is it this man here someone hope Service together over, with Victor Axis and that is his 12. potential um, um, opponents tomorrow or is it uh, Unkalong that's the only meaning it has to Chungwe yeah play For someone who, on the other hand, it's potentially uh, around seventy thousand dollars in difference. I think should he go on to win the tournament? It's wide. Service over. 
13, 10. Fourteen ten. Well, he's doing a good job of making Chong Wei twist and turn, which is precisely yeah. what he doesn't want to do. And it's not so easy because he, he also senses he has good chance now, so mm. so he must um, he, he can't play too safe, but he shouldn't uh, overcommit to any uh, wild smashes or close net shots. If he doesn't gift away points, then he has a good chance. 15, 10. Crikey, I would have been tempted to challenge that one. Absolutely brilliant from someone who threaded it down the line. 16 and, 10. And that's been calibrated that smash because he missed a number of them in the first one and a half game. They were almost all, the, all of them sitting just outside the line. Service over. 11 16. Play. Service over, 17-12. Well, it is looking very much as if someone hopes will be the other qualifier from this group we pay match. Three points needed. Way. <laughs> it 
takes the shuttle off the top of the tape and it doesn't get any power on it. In between the leg shot. Service over. 13, 18. <laughs> <laughs> in despair. <laughs> Play. Points over. away 19, from a 13. second consecutive semi-final for someone who no, I never thought would be saying that at a game in 3.13 down and 6.16 down. Rally of the match so far. <laughs> Exhibition stuff for a Lee Chong Wei because the strings in his racket are gone. He knew he had no control over his shots. Match point opportunities. For Son Wan Ho to book his place 20 in the semi final. Yeah, it was 13. the longest rally, too. It could mean a lot in terms of um, ranking points as well. Yeah. Seedings in the tournaments to come. Yeah. Sometimes you get a lucky break, sometimes you get the opposite. This yeah. time, definitely a lucky break for Son Wan Ho, but he earned it by staying in there long enough. Yeah. Fourteen twenty. <sighs> Good defence. Surely we're not going to see another twist in the tail, are we? Called it out. And the linesman called it out, but then changed his mind when the players shook hands. 21 15, 22 20. Deciding game converted on his third match point opportunity. An hour and 14 minutes in total. three games 
13, 21, 22, 20, 21, 15 in the deciding game. Having survived a match point opportunity, having come back from a game and 13, three down and 16, six down. What a remarkable victory for Son Wan Ho. So he will join Lee Chong Wei in the semi final draw. Semi finals tomorrow, of course. So that victory for Son Ho in three games uh, means that he has qualified for the semi-finals. But Lee Chong Wei is actually top of the group. That is the wrong way round. Lee Chong Wei tops Group A, but Son Wan Ho does indeed qualify for the semi-final stage. So not only Lee Chong Wei and Son Wan Ho through to the semi-final stage. Uh, Shi Wu Chi and Victor Axelson, the defending champion, also in the semi finals. As far as the women's singles is concerned, well, from Group A, we knew that Akane Yamaguchi and Pusala Venkata Sindhu had already qualified, but Pusala ends top of the group, as indeed does uh, Rachino Kintanon in Group B. So they're the four qualifiers, uh, Pusala, Yamaguchi, Intanon, and Chen Ufei. As far as the men's doubles is concerned, well, it was Kimura and Sonoda. Three matches won within their group, and uh, they are joined by Gideon and Sukumolio. In the opposite group, it's the world champions, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan, who are joined by Bo and Morganson. Bo and Morganson, incidentally, three-time former champions here. Women's doubles, two Japanese pairs, uh, Tanaka and uh, Yonimoto, and uh, Fukushima and Hirota. The big news from the women's doubles is that the defending champions and world champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, are out of the semi-final stage. They didn't qualify, uh, but instead was the Chinese pair of Wang Yaxiong and Yu Xiaohan, the winners of the Korean Open earlier this year. Christina Pedersen and Camilla Aruti Yul, the winners in 2013 of the Super Series Finals, are into the semi-finals once again. And as far as the mixed doubles, is uh, concerned, well, two Chinese uh, pairs, the defending champions, Chen Chi Wei and Chen Ching Cheng, and also the number two seeds, Huang Yilu and Huang Dongping. Well, uh, the Olympic 
and world champions Tantoi Akmad and Liliana Nasir. This is probably the only big tournament they haven't won. They have a chance to progress at least through to the final because they're in the semi-finals, as you can see. All 10 semi-finals for you tomorrow. The first of the sessions is a little earlier than today. It's 10 a.m. local time. That's 0600 GMT from all of us here in Dubai until the semi-finals tomorrow. Bye for now.